Hey everybody, my name is Benjurizer, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be solving one of the biggest mysteries in Roblox Piggy Book 2. The mystery of Mr. Stitchy. Let's get into this. <laughs> Okay, so basically, if you guys don't know who Mr. Stitchy is, he is the secret um, Halloween skin that you can unlock in the new Halloween event in Roblox Piggy. If you guys did miss my video, uh, um, I showed you how to unlock him. Um, he's a really, really cool skin, and one of the creepiest, I would say. Um, so, he... He's a very mysterious um, character in the story, and yeah, there was a lot. Uh, there's a lot of things about him that you might not have noticed. So um, I'm gonna be going over all of that in this video. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe, guys. It really helps me out. We're this close to 200 subscribers at the time of filming this. We're at 195. Thank you guys so much for doing that, and let's get on with the video. Okay, so the very first time that we actually see Mr. Stitchy um, in, in, like, the chronological story would be um, right here. He's actually in the Chapter 1 house map, um, kind of on top of where the Green Key hallway would be, um, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. Um, that's, that's honestly all that we see of him in that chapter, though. But the next time that we see him, uh, we get a lot of information about him. So, the next time we see him is in Chapter 4, The Forest. Now, in this chapter, um, we actually... Well, that's actually how you get the skin. You have to collect the candles, you light the candles, and then you summon him, because he might be a demon. Um, that, that is a possibility. Um, that's personally not what I think, but it's surely possible. So... Um, you have to kind of summon him. And basically, there is actually a note, um, kind of where he spawns in the map. And it says, do not draw the house with light. It will draw him too. Now, this note is actually pretty interesting because I think it's kind of alluding to how you can actually unlock the skin. Because, um, he is drawn to the, to the light, as we see, because... That's kind of just how you summon him. And I've noticed that if you're holding the torch out when it's lit, he will actually, there's a um, higher chance of him actually following you, which is really cool. So, um, yeah, I think that's actually it for Forest. Like, it, um, just let me know if I actually missed anything. I don't think I did, but it is possible. So the next time that we actually see Mr. Stitchy, is in the chapter 5 school map. Now, he's not actually in the cutscene um, like he is for um, for the house map, but he is there. If you look outside of the front glass doors or the window on the second story, you will see that Mr. Stitchy is in fact there. And he's, he's kind of just creepily staring at you, which, oh boy, that, yeah, that's really creepy. So, anyways... Um, basically, so basically, yeah, he's just standing there really creepily, and yeah, that's, that, that's pretty creepy. So, so on that map, um, if you unlock the exit, and then you kind of just look around the corner, um, it, it's like in the sewer section, you will actually see another secret note, and it says, I gave him a face. I was his only friend. Now, we'll get to, um, who I think actually wrote this note, like, um, in a, like, in a minute, but, okay, so the next time that you actually see Mr. Stitchy, or, like, um, there's a mention of him, is in the carnival map. Now, it's honestly pretty weird to note that the, that in every situation that you see him in, well, almost every situation, um, you're alone, which is really creepy. Um, so the next time that we see him is actually on top of the roller coaster in Carnival, um, Chapter 8. And yeah, it's pretty hard to see, um, even with low graphics on, but, um, but he's up there because you can kind of see the eyes. Um, also on that map, I'm pretty sure that there's two notes. So, um, the very, f so the first note says, Someone began to disrupt the countryside. 
The descriptions of witnesses matched his look. I never saw him again. Again, we'll get to who I think is writing these notes in a second. So the very last note that we actually see is, I'm pretty sure that it's actually in the carnival. I'm not sure. Actually, no, I think I know where. But basically it says, when he learned of my condition, he grew sad and frustrated. He left. Again, we'll get to that in a second. But the very last time that we actually see him is in the alleys map. He's he's actually in the cutscene, and I pointed this out inside of my um my gameplay videos of the new Halloween event. Make sure to go check those out. So he's kind of there, and in and when we actually see him, he he's not wearing his little mask. And this is where um the, my theory senses kick in which is a really really weird thing to say i don't know why i just said that but anyways so basically i think that the person writing these notes is penny pig herself now um i i don't think that the one in the forest was written by penny or maybe actually maybe it was um so basically i think that penny um actually found mr stitchy uh, maybe he was like running away from from someone um and she gave him his face because his face if you guys look at it it looks pretty similar to a teddy bear's and well who has a teddy bear in in the peppa pig show well peppa pig who is the equivalent of penny pig in the piggy story and also um yeah well what face would penny piggy have the face of a teddy bear because she was probably a young girl when she did this um well, possibly. I'm honestly not too sure, because all of these notes, they look very, very old. Okay, yeah, so that's what I think is actually going on here. And so Mr. Stitchy was the one who was disrupting the, the countryside, and and Penny found out. So I think that she wrote um, both of those notes in the carnival, because there's not too many sick characters in the... in um. In Piggy, there's Mrs. P, who I doubt, I I really doubt wrote this, like, wrote these notes, because I don't really think that she would have the teddy bear, but, um, th that's, that's honestly just me. But then, there's Penny, and she might have wrote this note, um, while she was becoming infected. So, yeah, um, yeah, and another piece of evidence that, um, supports my theory is that, um, Peppa Pig in the show, she actually has two different teddy bears. She has, um, she has one that I'm not really sure. I'm, yeah, one of them I'm not too sure about. And the other one is, is the one that she carries around with her literally everywhere. In, in so many episodes of the show, I haven't seen it. I've just, I've just, I just kind of know this. She carries around that teddy bear. Now, it's actually very interesting because the face of, it kind of, um, the face of Mr. Stitchy kind of resembles the face, like a really, really messed up version of that. If you guys look at those side by side, you will see they kind of resemble each other. Or, or at least that's just what I think. Let me know what you guys think about this theory in the comments down below. But with that said, I think that's actually going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. So you know when I post more awesome videos like this. Yeah, I I honestly, um, I'm pretty happy with this theory. And yeah, I, I, I really think that that is actually what happened. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.